So if you're out to save money on your energy bill, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is understand where your energy use is coming from. And to do that, we're gonna break up your energy use into two big buckets. And we call those buckets base load energy usage and seasonal energy usage. So let's dive in. And we're gonna start with base load usage. So what is it? So base load usage is the energy used for loads, loads meaning appliances or things that use energy, that use it all year long. Think things like your lighting, plug loads, that means things that are plugged into outlets. Think your refrigeration, think water heating. If you have a pool pump, that's typically run all year long. If you have appliances like dishwashers and washing machines, those are typically run just as much in January as they are in July. Or if you have an electric vehicle, typically people don't drive a lot more in the summertime than they do in the wintertime. And we're gonna contrast base load energy use with seasonal energy usage. Okay, so what is seasonal energy usage? Well, seasonal energy usage is very intuitive. It's just like what it sounds. It's the energy that's used only for certain specific seasons. In this case, you're thinking about heating and air conditioning or cooling. But there's so much more than just heating and air conditioning that goes into actually when your house is spending money on heating and cooling. It has to do with insulation and your ducting and how leaky they are, uh, how your vents are located in different rooms and at different levels, your windows, your ventilation, and whether you have specific attic vents or fans. But overall, one of the biggest impacts is the building envelope. How fertilized and well air sealed is your home? And so when we're thinking about the difference between baseload energy usage and seasonal energy usage, what we're doing is we're trying to separate those two buckets so we can understand when we spend money on a lighting upgrade or when we spend money on insulation, what amount of energy use are we going to impact? So that being said, let's talk about more how you can figure out how this relates to your specific home. And so what we're gonna do is I wanna create a vision for you to become this ninja and to be able to see the matrix. So when you see your energy bill over a year, you can see everything that's happening in the background. What do I mean by that? Well, when I see this energy bill, what I see is I see a home with air conditioning and I see a dotted line that goes horizontally across the average of the lowest three months of energy usage to create a base load usage that is consistent throughout the year and everything above this line is likely air conditioning. And so I can take that amount and I can put that into a pie chart and figure out, okay, this is how much I'm spending on air conditioning. And if I added a whole house fan to reduce air conditioning, or I improve my air conditioning you know, efficiency, this is how much of the pie I'd be able to impact. Let's look at another profile. This will help kind of continue to deepen your understanding of how this will work for your home. So take a look at this kind of month by month electricity usage. So what do you see? Well, I see an electric home that has electric heating that does not have air conditioning. I'm drawing my base load line on the average of the lowest three months here. Everything below that is kind of used consistently out the, throughout the year. And then in the winter months, I'm actually heating with electricity most likely, right? So I'm able to pull that kind of usage into a pie chart and figure out what percentage of my usage goes to electric heating. Hey, let's take a look at another one. What if you see something like this? And you know for your home, you have electric heating and you know you have air conditioning. Well, you can draw a very, very quick line here to say, okay, I'm gonna average the lowest two or three months. Everything below that is my base load usage and everything above that is gonna be my seasonal usage and it's gonna be impacted in a positive way when I improve the efficiency of my heating and cooling system or my building envelope or my windows or how uh, well my ducts are sealed or how they're located. All of those things will have a direct measurable impact 
on your seasonal energy usage. Let's look at natural gas for one moment. Imagine natural gas, very, very common natural gas kind of profile. If you looked at natural gas month by month usage for a lot of homes, and what you'll see is you'll see everything above the line being your heating natural gas usage, everything below the line being the other things that you're using natural gas for. It could be things like water heating, cooking, drying clothes. And this again will go into a broken out uh, chart where you can actually see how much of your natural gas costs are going to your heating and how much are going to other kind of uses. Um, now, one more example I wanna give. What if you see an anomaly like this where it just doesn't make sense? Well, think about specific large loads that might use a large amount of energy during specific periods. So in this case, we have these two summer months that are kind of using a lot more gas than we'd expect unless you have something like a spa and then you're not gonna include this in your seasonal usage you're gonna account for that separately in terms of that's gonna be usage from a spa and your seasonal heating usage is going to be the other months that are above the base load. So overall, understanding at a high level how much of your energy usage is going to seasonal usage and how much is going to base load usage is gonna be the very, very first step in really being able to go after your energy bill and perform upgrades that are gonna make a difference for your home. If you love this content and wanna learn more about home energy upgrades and how to approach it like a ninja building scientist, please go to homeenergyacademy.com where you'll find a lot of great free content, tools, checklists, calculators here to support you on your home energy journey to become a home energy expert.